Can't sleep? The problem may be in the room with you right now. A new study finds our phones, tablets, and other electronic devices may be doing a lot more harm than you think. WJZ is live. George Solis explains why health experts say it's time for a blackout. George. Vic, it seems like pretty common sense stuff. Keep your phone off at night and the problem goes away. But you'd be surprised to learn just having the phone in the same room could be impacting your health. In this day and age, it seems it's easier to join them rather than beat them when it comes to people and their tech toys. Just about everyone WJZ asked admitting it's downright addicting, even if it's getting in the way of normal human functions. Do you think that being on your phone at night is keeping you from getting some good sleep sometimes? For sure. At night time when I'm trying to go to sleep, I'm on it till like 4 o'clock in the morning playing a game. This trend is exactly what a new health study published in the journal the American Medical Association finds is happening more and more, especially with children and teens. You're just watching, you're like, oh, it's 3 o'clock in the yeah. morning. The concern is that all of this lack of sleep could be putting all of them at greater risk for obesity and type 2 diabetes. One doctor tells WJZ the problem goes far beyond just owning one of these devices. I don't think that sitting there holding your text device is going to make you a diabetic. I don't care what the study states. The study should state that also none of those people are walking. The study did find that kids didn't have to be on their devices to be directly affected. Why? The answer comes with the flick of a switch. It's called blue light and it's emitted from virtually all electronic screens. This teen tells WJZ even with the doctor's warning about its effect on her sleep, she's still not putting the phone down. Like if my phone is gone, I'm gone. It's a mentality that health experts are hoping to unplug fast. There's a part of you that loses one of the most important aspects of being a human being, your humanity. Now, we did speak to some parents, say, who are working to fight this new norm by making sure all electronic devices are out of the bedroom by bedtime. Reporting live tonight, George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News. Okay, George, we'll see if that works. Some devices do come with settings to eliminate the light that could be waking you up at night.